You know, a lot of people don't realize that the skin is actually the largest organ of your body. And taking care of it is very important. I mean, it's the first thing people see about you. I mean, they see your face and everything. And little things start popping up on you like, hmm, should I do something about it? Well, today on the show, we're talking to Dr. John Phillips here at the Dermatology Solutions in Biloxi. How are you, sir? Good to see you. Good to see you. Um, tell us, if you would, uh, a little bit about yourself and uh, what chose, you know, why you chose to get into the uh, field of dermatology. Okay. Board certified dermatologist and... Um I chose dermatology because it combined uh, a little bit of medicine and surgery. Mm -hmm. um, I like both of them. Um, internal medicine, kind of your Sherlock Holmes trying to figure out what's going on with the skin. Right. And right. I like to do surgery, so we do a lot of skin cancer surgery. Now, let's talk about the, uh, that, the skin cancer, as I mentioned, the, the skin, largest organ of your body. Um, down here on the coast, we, uh, during the summertime, and sometimes during the wintertime, we expose a lot of it to the sun. Uh, not only to that, but uh, tanning beds, right. so to speak. Right. Um, making sure that we take care of it so we don't have any issues down the road, right. very important. Yeah, well, you mentioned skin is the largest organ in the body. The skin cancer is the number one cancer in the United States. Um, one in five Americans will get skin cancer in their lifetime. Um, there's been 520 I'm sorry, 5.4 million cases of skin cancer a year. Wow. In the, in the United States. Yeah, and one in 50 Americans will get melanoma in their lifetime. Uh, just some statistics so you know how bad skin cancer is. Uh, one American an hour dies of melanoma. I never knew that statistic. Yeah, yeah. That, that's pretty rough. It is and it's the terrible. incidence of melanoma has actually doubled since 1982. Why is that? Probably because of tanning beds. There's a couple Did of they reasons. say they, you know, you hear people, oh, they're safe. They, you know, you don't get the uh, the bad rays from the sun when you get in those, but that's not. Yeah, there are two main types of rays that we worry about in dermatology: UVA and UVB. UVB is the burning rays; those will not penetrate glass. So when you're driving, you're okay. UVA are deeper, uh, more chromosomal damage rays. Those. Mm -hmm will not burn you, they will tan you. But the problem with that is they cause a lot more damage. And thereby the tanning beds will tan you without burning you, but they're causing more damage in the long run. So I think we're seeing more melanoma for that reason, more skin cancers in general. And you don't see people wearing sunscreen getting into tanning beds. Usually they'll use things that will uh, intensify. It, the, exactly, uh, the, the oils and it. things that intensify right. the effects of UVA, yeah. Now the sunscreens that are being made today are broad spectrum sunscreens to block both UVA and uh -huh. UVB. Uh, and it's very important that, um, that you know, we'll talk about sunscreens. Um, uh, it's important that you have a broad spectrum sunscreen, right. at least with an SPF of 30, uh, and that you uh, reapply it yeah. every couple of hours. And most people underuse sunscreen. They actually use just a little bit and put it on. Oh, uh, every 30 minutes, this, this bald yeah. head is getting, <laughs> getting uh, sunscreen, you know, at least SPF 30 on there. And is it true that Anything above SPF 50 is really, I mean, like you see some say, oh, SPF 70, SPF 90. Yeah, 30 is recommended, but you, the higher the number, probably the better the protection, mm -hmm. but not dramatically, maybe a 10% difference. Um, right. So it wouldn't hurt to go higher, uh, especially if you, if you don't have any, if you're white, you know, if you're redheaded, if you've got blue eyes, uh, green eyes, um, blonde hair. I think the higher the better. Definitely. Yeah. What are some of the things, um, real quick, um, that you should notice as far as a change, you know, that you might want to get checked? What should you look for? Yeah, one of the things I want to finish mentioning about sunscreen is people underuse it. And um, we recommend using a, about a shot glass of sunscreen per application. So, okay. um, and that's, I um, want to make sure they get that point across. Okay. As far as um, things in your skin that um, you need to check for, we say the ABCDs for moles, um, and that means, and E also, ABCDE. Um, so you do your self-exam right. and check your moles, and uh, the ABCDE stands for asymmetry, that is half, one half looks different than the other. Okay. B means border, if it has an irregular border, okay. it may be suspect. C is color, if the color's different inside the mole, if one part's red and one part's black and one part's brown or something, right. if that's changing. D 
is diameter, if it's bigger than a pencil eraser, mm -hmm. uh, and then E is evolving, and that's the big, I think that's the biggest thing. People have moles all over the body, particularly. Right. If they don't have the A, B, C, D, the E is the most important. If something changes, mm -hmm. I would suggest it's better for you to come in, let me tell you it's nothing, than come in and tell me, let me tell you, you better go make implants for your funeral. Cool. Yeah, that that'd be a scary yeah. thing. Yeah. Um, let's talk about some of the other things that you do here. You, you this is kind of a, a medi spa, so to speak. Yes. So uh, talk about some of the things. We got a few minutes left. So talk about some of the things you offer here. Yeah, medi spa particularly is um, a spa that is uh, supervised by a doctor. Right. So we can do a lot more things than a regular spa as far as um, injectable products such as Botox, mm -hmm. uh, fillers for lines and wrinkles. Um, we can also do um, things like liposuction. Um, we have a uh, venous freeze, which will skin tighten the neck and the jowls uh, through radio it's frequency. Like, like the spider lift thing. Uh -huh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, it's radio frequency. We also have um, um, the cool sculpting, which is a machine that will melt fat. It's actually a fat reduction machine. It, uh, you, it's an applicator you put on, mm -hmm. and it melts. Um, melts the fat away. It freezes, actually freezes fat and the fat dies and the fat then is absorbed into the body. And just passes and through. just passes through. Wow. Yeah. That's cool. And you get about a 35% reduction per treatment of the areas on cool sculpting. And you can treat the abdomen, uh, particularly the abdomen is a great area, the, the flanks, mm -hmm. inside legs, outside thighs, under the arms. So it's a great, great uh, machine to have here. Um, your your um, intense talk about real quick your intense pulse light treatment. Yeah, that's called a photofacial, and uh, it's uh, IPL is good for people that have uh, a lot of freckles or a lot of age spots mm -hmm. or um, a lot of um, blood vessels on their face, particularly rosacea. Right, right. So we use the IPL machine for people that have come in with uh, you know your normal age spots from sun damage. Yeah, uh, that's where where you're going to get most of your age spots, just like you said, on the back of your hands, on the arms, and on the face. And uh, IPL will pul it's pulse, it's a broad spectrum light, so it'll pulse that, um, that dark spot and hit it only mm -hmm. and kill those cells so that they fall off. Okay. And then as far as rosacea, it actually seals the blood vessels when you're flushed, so it may help that as well. All right. Dr. Phillips, thank you so much for your time thank and uh, you. educating everyone on this. If you have any questions, mm -hmm. numbers on your screen, you can go to the website and find out some of the uh, wonderful things they do here, the services they do provide. They are located on Pass Road in Biloxi. It is just east of Keesler Federal Credit Union. So if you uh, have some questions, maybe something on you that uh, you have a question about, a little bit suspicious, give them a call at Dermatology Solutions.